Yeah, Greg, look at this. It's called hair ice. And honestly, it really hasn't been researched that heavily, but what we do know about it is fascinating. Maria Mettler walks into her office. Hi, little one. A place where she can name most critters under this canopy. Little Pacific Wren. The Fisher Pond Preserve on Vashon Island, a place she's hoping to show off Mother Nature's finest. And maybe with that pond, the temperature is colder down there. She's looking for hair ice, something she sees maybe once a winter. So this is a picture of some that I found last year. The name perfectly describes the way it looks. It's extremely beautiful. It looks just like hair but its formation is much more complicated. Maria says hair ice forms mostly between 45 to 55 degrees north latitude, which is from Portland into British Columbia. And after at least two to three days of sub freezing temperatures, but there can't be snow. It forms on hardwoods like oak, maple, ash, or alder, but only where the inner wood is exposed. And there has to be fungus present. These conditions can lead to hair ice. As that fungus kind of respirates and goes through its life cycle in those sub-zero temperatures, it will actually push ice out of that hardwood. She shows off a place that would be perfect. You've got bark here, but you have exposed inner wood here. So this is a place where if the fungus was present, um, you might see some of that hair ice starting to come out. On this day, it's just a little too warm during this search. I don't think we're going to find our hair ice, unfortunately. But these photos from Andy McClure show the hair ice he discovered here on Vashon this month. And in Redmond, Lori O'Neill took these photos near her home through various cold spells. Maria says the excitement around hair ice helps encourage people to be curious about the world around us. It's just a reminder that there's a lot of things to be discovered and a lot of things to create wonder around. Okay, so you alluded to where you find this stuff and conferring with some older King 5 colleagues in all of our years, we've never even heard about this. Where exactly do you find it? Well, relatively speaking, it's a Pacific Northwest gem. Uh, you can see everybody highlighted here has a shot at it. So it's 45 degrees north up to 55. So that starts right around Portland, goes up into British Columbia. The difference that we're going to see east to west is parts of western Washington don't get as much snow. So eastern Washington, because they get a lot more snow, they're not going to see it form quite as easily. So Western Washington is the best place to see this. And I know everybody's asking yourself right now, <laughs> will we be able to see it? I want to go see it tomorrow. Uh, well, tomorrow early morning could be your last opportunity to try to see it, uh, but we are going to be warming up a little bit. And of course, our weather is changing to a more wet pattern this weekend. So we are right at the end of this window. It's good to at least know about it now. Thanks for bringing it to our attention after all these years, Leah. You're welcome. <laughs>